Hi, 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 hi. Hi, people. Welcome to Sandra and Cook. Today, I'm here to show you how I make my french fries or potato chips crispy. And I'll be using the double fried method. So I've got here my medium sized potatoes. I'm saying medium because some can be quite um, big, some are bigger than these sizes. So I'm going to wash them. I would have loved to keep the skin on, but I feel like sometimes when you peel them, you realize there are certain dark things under the skin. So I'm going to wash them clean and then we go ahead and get them cut or as they say, get it, get it julienned, okay, or julienned, whichever way. But well, let's get cooking, guys. So here they are. I've washed them very well. I'm not going to go ahead and peel them. And now I prefer to wash them before peeling because then it avoids me from transferring any dirt from the skin to the main potato um, food itself. Okay, so now they say this is a vegetable, so it avoids me from touching the main vegetable. So let's go ahead and peel them, guys. So it's all peeled. I'm now going to go ahead and cut them into my um, sizes, the first sizes for my fries or chips. So our potatoes have all been cut. As you can see, my potatoes are quite big, guys. So to some people, it's large. To others who have seen bigger sizes than what I've used, it is an extra large. To others, it's medium. I call it medium because I've seen bigger sizes. Okay, so this is what it is now. I'm going to go ahead and pour some cold water onto it. I'm going to soak them up nicely in cold water. For 30 minutes and this is going to help the starch out of the potatoes so for 30 minutes I'm going to leave this in here nicely to get the starch out let's leave it for half an hour before we start frying them so after 30, 30 minutes guys here we are okay so now I'm going to go ahead and give it a proper wash okay I'm not just going to drain away the water because I've soaked it. I'm going to go ahead and give it a good rinse. Okay, that helps the starch to come off really well. So let's do that, guys. So, guys, I hope you can see the change of the water color. If I pour the water away, this all this amount of starch would have been on the potatoes. So what I simply did or do is this. So that's how the starch comes off the potatoes. And then it changes the water. Look at that. From plain water to kind of um, ivory or, yeah, ivory look. Okay, so you don't just pour the water away. You make sure you give it a good rinse. This is the third wash, guys. So I gave it three good wash or rinsing. And as you can see, the water is now clear. A lot clearer than the very first two I had. Okay, so this tells me that a good amount of um, starch is washed. Now let's get it dried up. So on my lined um, tray, I go ahead and put the Gillian potatoes on, or the cut potatoes.
and I'll go ahead and dab the excess water. You make sure every single liquid is off. And for this, like I previously mentioned guys, I'm using the double fry method because I really want my chips or fries very crispy. So after a thorough dabbing, here I am. So I've managed to get every um, drop of water or liquid from it. At this point, you choose your own um, seasoning guys, whatever you want. But I'm not adding salt because salt in a way comes, kind of draws out water. So if I add salt now, it's going to get back the moisture into it. So at this point, I'm not adding salt. I'm just going to go ahead and add my favorite seasoning. Guys, anything of your choice. So here I have some turmeric, okay? A little turmeric. And I love my garlic, guys. So some garlic powder as well. Okay, there's a little bit of um, one of a little, I'm not sure, but maybe a little salt. Just a little, 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 which is not... The same as directly putting salt onto your french fries okay and then this time it's a little drop of aroma just a pinch of it and then with a neatly washed hands we're just going to mix it mix it very well all done guys coated let's do it so let me check the hotness of my oil Wow, that's some quick bubbling there. So it is ready to do what it has to do. So with this recipe, you don't want to overcrowd your oil. It needs a good space. So I'm going to just divide this batch into two. You need some good, good space. Let it fry, guys. After three minutes, you get it out of the oil for the second batch to go in. So it goes on a towel tray or plate. So the second batch has been here for five minutes. The difference between this and the first one is that the temperature of the oil goes down each time you add like um, a second or third um, set of fries. So I had to allow that um, two minutes extra to get it where I wanted it to. So it's going to go up now and then come back for a second fry. So this is the very first batch that came out for the first fry and the second one is here. I'm now going to go ahead and put the very first one in for their second fry and do the same for the second batch to get the crispy fry that I so desire. So they're back in for the second fry. Yeah, we leave it till it's all crispy. So whilst it's in here, you want to try and get your spatula kind of turning them every now and then, right? So avoid it from burning. What we want is crisp not a bent fry okay, so as you can see the second fry is coming up really nicely but you don't leave it in the oil um, stagnant so you have your spatula or whatever you use for turning to give you that good turn okay so they are cooked evenly without burning so go ahead and do this to like get the precise crisp I need and then put the second batch in so my second batch has also done the second fry and guys, look at here. Listen to the sound, guys. Okay. So this is what I mean. Crispy. Look at that. So it is done. Let's go ahead and serve it. Here we are. All done, guys. Listen to that crispy, crispy sound of the fries. Ready, ready, ready for serving. Let's do it. At this point, you can now add your salt. If you love salt, I've tasted it guys, without salt and it's beautiful, but if you love something extra, 
this way you now go ahead and add your salt so thank you so much for taking your time to join the SEC family it has been Sandra my double frying method for a crispy potato fries hope you enjoyed the video if you did kindly go ahead comment share like and mainly subscribe thank you guys take care